Welcome back, you beautiful people. It is July 2024, so naturally we're taking a look back at what happened in June 2024 in real estate in Ottawa, as well as where we sit halfway through the year. As always, remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this with someone who you think might be interested in this type of conversation. We'll jump right into it talk about the detached properties in Ottawa in the month of June. We saw the total of 772, an increase of 9.8% over 2023, but the average price went down versus 2023 by 3%. The number of active listings, we've got a lot more, and that is absolutely the story of this month. There are more properties for buyers to pick through, and that's where we're at. In terms of what kind of market we're in, we are still in a slight seller's market, uh, but it's moving further towards a balanced market. Buyers have a little bit more time, can be a little bit more picky. Detached year to date, you can see we're up in terms of number of sales by 7.2%, and we're up in terms of price by 0.6%. So the price for June are down by $6,000 after rising $73,000 year to date. So it puts us, it's the second month in a row that the prices for detached houses are down. So the spring frenzy is definitely over. Sellers who are smart are listing in line with fair market value as opposed to reaching or trying to uh, underlist and get multiple offers. Obviously still the largest segment and it, for detached houses, it seems that we're at the halfway point of the year, we're pretty much lined up with where we were last year in terms of year to date being at 0.6% in terms of number of price, uh, average price. However, we've sold more homes. So very interesting to note here. And we shift gears, talk a little bit about, about semis and townhouses. In the month of June, you can see the number of transactions down by 3.6% and the average price down by 0.5. Active listings, we've got uh, 33.3% more uh, than we did last year. And we are still in a seller's market. This is definitely the hottest market, the most affordable market uh, with regards to townhouses and semis. Year to date, you can see the total number of sales up by 3.5%. Uh, I don't know what 22.296 is. That is an incorrect number. I'll have to fix that and I'll fix it in the comments below. If there's something else you'd like to see, feel free to add it to the comments below. The average price you can see is slightly down 0.0%. So it's probably down like a buck or two. Nothing drastic. The average price did go down month over month again versus last month, not year over year, after a $38,000 increase so far year to date. So the condo or freehold townhouses or row houses are obviously the most accessible types of properties for most buyers to still give you um, you know a good amount of living space as opposed to in, a, in, a, in an apartment it might feel a little bit smaller the average price point really speaks to affordability and this is what most people can afford right the average person in Ottawa making you know the average household income hundred and twenty thousand dollars is able to afford a six hundred or six hundred fifty thousand dollar thing and what those normally look like are townhouses so number of listings being so low makes it obviously the hottest segment with only one and a half months worth of inventory in terms of apartments for the month of June, the total number of sales down drastically, 17.8%, but the average price only down by 0.6%. Number of active listings, we've got a lot more for people to pick through, 667, that's 71.9% more. And at 3.2 months of inventory, it is the segment that is the slowest. It's the most laggy segment that we're seeing for the month. So savvy buyer, if you're looking for a good deal, turn your eyes toward the condo apartment segment. Uh, you can see the total number of sales down by 2.6 year to date at the halfway point of the year and the average price up by 3.1%. So very interesting there, the average price dropped by $24,000 month over month, meaning the year to date increase is still sitting at only $9,000 over where we saw 2023. Still the most volatile sector, seeing swings of 10% and more in any given month because there's so few of them. And we've got some really high-end condos that will really push the price up, or if they don't sell, drop the price back down. Still some great opportunities for savvy buyers, but it obviously there's not a lot to choose from. It's only less than 20% of Ottawa's total sales. Uh, and of course, lots of the new towers that they're building are not condo resales, they're rentals. Uh, so a whole other market that we don't really cover a lot, but very interesting to note that a lot of the buildings going in are rentals and not condo resales. If you are interested in how all of this affects you or your family when you are buying or selling or investing in real estate, as always, reach out. The team and I are more than happy to help. The phone number, one real 585 And until next time, keep it real, collective.